If you've seen them on social media, plenty of viral videos going around from the Savannah Bananas this past spring. It's the biggest party in baseball, and their fearless leader is Eric Burns, former Arizona Diamondback, and he joins us here today to get caught up on the season and everything he's doing off the field as well. Eric, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, Jordan, thanks for having me, man. It's, uh, it's been quite a ride. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, as I'm looking at these videos, seeing all this coverage of the bananas this past year, we have guys on stilts, we have bats on fire, there are babies involved, you're running around. Uh, so for someone that hasn't seen a Savannah Bananas game, um, and all that it entails, how would you describe it to them? Broadway beats baseball. It, it's basically a production. But uh, the funny thing is, is that there's very <laughs> quality baseball that is played amongst all the chaos it's like nothing i've ever been a part of uh, it's part rock concert it, it's part um like i mentioned broadway play but at the same time you have the elements of actual baseball that's being played and so it's got a lot of harlem globetrotters uh, mm. to it Guys, uh, whether it's we have a short stop that literally can play hacky sack with a baseball if the ground ball's uh, hit to them. The reason why it works so well is that none of this is choreographed with the game of baseball. And to have the two teams go out there and, you know, for the most part, we played the party animals and much like the Globe Chargers would play the Washington Generals. The difference is this. We played 12 games against the party animals. We won eight. They won four. And every single game came down to that final inning with exception, I believe, one. And it just, it's non, it's, it's fast. The game's fast. It's normal major league baseball game, average length of games, three hours. We play, we have a two hour time limit on the game. Batter can't step out of the box. Pitcher can't get off the mound. It, it's going, it's going quick. And it's one of the most beautifully orchestrated S shows that I've ever seen in my entire life that I've ever been a part of. Talk to anybody who's gone and seen this and they're like, that is even better than what has drawn the millions and millions of views and fans uh, on social media. So it's it's been really cool to be a part of. What brought you to this, as you put it, S show? We just, there were so many synergies that we explored different options about how I could get involved. And look, I just started, we started a new live streaming interactive platform where I, I host the podcast every morning called The Daily Hustle. And I, we do it, I do an alternative broadcast uh, with Will Clark where we're, you know, we'll watch games and kind of give the live reacts and everything else. And so for me, like that was what I was doing. That was everything. And then to be able to implement, you know, that with coaching, I was coaching my kids team. So there's a broadcasting element. There was a coaching element uh, and it all kind of comes together in the content creation. Yet baseball ultimately is right here. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that, that's what I think we all love. And that's what brings us all together. So that's how I got there. Um, and to watch this thing grow, Jordan, in, in the seven weeks that we did it, it was incredible. And to think that this is going to continue to, to, to just, just go like this. I know, you know, Jesse, the owner, he's had several big league teams reach out to him about the bananas coming to play in their cities. And it's just like baby steps, right? We don't want to go too quick, but at the same time, Dude, we're selling out everywhere we go. Every offseason, Major League Baseball is talking about new rules to speed up the game or make new adjustments to kind of as society has changed and changed. What can they elements can they take from Banana Ball to implement and improve their game? Uh, there's a few. I, I don't think you're ever going to see the, the fan catches a foul ball, the batter being out. Although I do think you could go for it. Uh, stealing first base is one that's interesting. If you have a pass ball, the ball obviously you know, trickles away. If the batter takes off the first base, then, you know, it's a, it's a way for the batter to steal first base. It just creates more action more than anything. It's the pace of the game. And I know the MLB is experimenting with a pitch clock right now in the minor leagues and, and that's fine. And I get it. Ideally you have the pitchers working at a pace where we don't even have to put up a clock. Mm -hmm. The bananas don't have a clock other than the two hours of like, boom, as soon as we get to that two hour time limit, the game's over. It becomes officially the last inning and it's done. Um, but we have these things called showdowns 
which are, are really exciting. It'd be a, a fun way for uh, MLB to look into extra innings. But basically, you have one fielder, one batter, and one pitcher. And you have to get an inside the park home run to, to, to win it. So you have, boom, let's say a guy hits a ball, he hits a gapper. The fielder has to start on the infield grass, run out, grab it. This guy's racing around. It's one of the most exciting things I've ever seen. We, when we walk, it's actually a sprint. There's no walks. So the batter then can sprint around and all eight guys have to touch the baseball before you can get them out. The other element of match play per inning, it does it, 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 it makes it any, so it doesn't drag on and on and on typically, unless if the visiting team scores a lot of runs, fine. But let's just say a visiting team goes zero uh, in the top of the first, home team comes up, base hit, double, boom, we're celebrating. And, it, and it, it's an atmosphere that promotes celebrations, encourages mm -hmm. celebrations, bat flips, whatever else. Uh, and it's not, it's not a, a, a knock against the other team. And we're not trying to disrespect anybody. We're trying to enjoy ourselves. We're trying to have fun. We're trying to get creative. It's stupid stuff. And, and that's, but that's what makes it beautiful. Like, mm -hmm. the, it's, it, it, you don't, we don't take ourselves too seriously. We play our asses off. I tell the boys, Jordan, I said, look, man, and this is, this is this is a real big part of managing this team is making sure they remember that they're ball players first. Because mm -hmm. none of this works if you go out there and we're kicking balls around. None of this works if we're not throwing strikes. None of this works if we're not putting balls in play. If the baseball sucks, the whole show sucks. And we had a couple games where it was like, ugh. So we would get every Monday morning after we'd had, you know, finish the weekend, we'd get together and we'd go over all the things. And you know, what's great is that all, all these guys right now, the majority of our guys, they're off, they're off playing independent ball and, and, and they're, they're real baseball players. And these guys are still chasing the dream. I think ultimately what I'd like to see is that if they're not with an organization uh, and, and not in the big leagues, the Savannah bananas being the number one destination to play that that's where I'd like to see it get as far as from a baseball standpoint.